The day one of the end bad governance protest took place successfully in Potakot, the river state capital. Beginning as early as 7.30 a.m., a small group of protesters from various alliances gathered at the Potakot Pleasure Park, unfurling banners and carrying placards with diverse messages. Better life, so that our adult children can enjoy the sweat of our labor. Nigerians deserve a better life. We are living like a slave in Nigeria. President Tinubu, please, I'm begging you in the name of Allah Yisab, please, make a U-turn in your policies. There was a heavy security presence with operatives from the Nigerian police, civil defense, Nigerian army and the SSS visibly on site. The protesters marched from their starting point along Abba Road towards the government house with their numbers growing as they progressed. Upon arrival, they were received and addressed by Governor Similai Fumbara, who praised their peaceful conduct and assured them that their demands would be met. You are here. Because you want a better Nigeria, is it not? But like I said yesterday, I am one of you. I feel your pain. And in our own government here, we are doing everything to make life easy for our people. But you see, this particular protest that we are doing now, our only worry is that we know that a lot of people are planning to take advantage of this protest to destroy our state. But we will not allow it. So, as, like I said before, I want to thank you for being peaceful. I already know your problems. We will communicate your problems to the federal government. Like I said, it is not easy. It is not easy. But we know quite all right that very soon everything will be well. Governor Fubara further stated that he had never doubted the protesters' intentions and was only concerned about potential infiltrators. I have never had any fear that it will be hijacked because I know that we have always been a government that is concerned about the people. I only want worry is maybe some elements who has taken it upon themselves to make governance difficult in our state, penetrating through this means to create additional problems. But if it has to, if it has to do with the protesters, I don't have any fear. Their demands are German. I understand. Several protesters expressed their desire for a better life and mentioned that they had handed a protest letter outlining their demands to the governor, hoping for a positive action and response. I joined the protest today because I want good governments in Nigeria. I want them to, to, to give us good roads and lights. Fresh subsidy, very important. I personally gave the governor the letter and that letter contains our demands from our legal representative. And I believe from the way he spoke, Something will be done about it. Now, let me give you a rundown of what that letter contains. It contains good welfare for our security men. It contains good education for our kids. It contains good health care system. It contains um, 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 dealing with the hunger issue, dealing with the high, um, high price of uh, foodstuffs in the market. That letter contains a lot of things that is affecting Nigeria that is affecting the common man. This was the day one of the protest, which proceeded without any reports of violence or looting. The River State people are hopeful of a sustained peaceful protest for the proposed 10 days.